Hey guys, Dividable Halo here, and today I'm bringing you my list of the top 5 Minecraft resource packs today. Of course, all these resource packs are available for not only the Bedrock Edition, but the Java Edition. Anyways guys, let's jump into it. So when picking out the Minecraft resource packs, I picked the resource packs that I've used throughout the years. Packs that more or less helped me to gain an advantage in not only the survival games, but also in Minecraft survival. So without further ado, let's jump into the list. No. Kicking off the list at number 5, we have the Plastic Texture Pack. The Plastic Texture Pack gives, of course, a nice plastic effect to the whole game. One reason that I enjoy the plastic texture pack mainly is because it is so simple and is so easy to find items inside pretty much Minecraft. If you look at some of the stuff that I have here in my own inventory, you can see that clearly all these textures that I have going on in here are identifiable. And a lot of these items that I have here are obviously all easy to use and more or less easy to navigate when playing vanilla Minecraft. Also, if you want something that doesn't drop your frames, I would highly recommend this texture pack as it's so simple and very smooth to navigate in games. Once again, looking at all the trees and all the environment that is around on my own little Minecraft world, you guys can see that it's very simplistic. When moving on to the armor, it is very simplistic once again. As you guys can see, Diamond, one of the best resources in the entire game, it makes it look so smooth and so simple. This texture pack takes number five on the list. No. Coming in at number four, we have the Greek Mythology Mashup Pack. One thing I want to say before we continue on is I believe this resource pack is something that has to be purchasable through the marketplace uh, store on Minecraft Bedrock. However, this texture pack is by far one of my favorite texture packs when playing survival. If you want something that is definitely close to Roman era, this texture pack does favors for it. When looking in the entire inventory, you guys can see that everything is very polished, very smooth in terms of the items that would have been back in the day for Greek mythology. If you look at the armor, you guys can see that everything is different, everything is unique, and it's just something that overall is aesthetically pleasing when playing Minecraft. As you guys can see in my whole nice Greek armor, my whole Greek diamond armor, it is everything that is completely different and definitely unique when playing Minecraft. Another thing that they changed as well is if you look at the mobs, the cows, the sheep, the horses and everything, they're all uniquely different, including the mobs such as the creeper, as we can see right here. This texture pack and resource pack takes number four on the countdown. No. Coming in at number three, we have the Mazin pack. If you want something that is probably a better upgrade from the plastic texture pack, or maybe a downgrade from the whole plastic texture pack, this texture pack is definitely something that you should go check out. Once again, these whole low resolution texture packs definitely save a lot on FPS in terms of Bedrock, or even maybe the Java edition for the entire game. There are some textures, however, that aren't covered, such as if you look at the leather cap in my whole inventory, it really just has the same thing for the default texture. However, the other items such as the diamonds, the whole blocks and all that, still make it into the game very nicely. Once again though, looking at the whole armor, like it's really much a downgrade from the whole plastic texture pack. Anyways, looking at the mob, you guys can see that the creepers and everything else has somewhat changed. And yeah, I would recommend this texture pack over plaster texture pack in terms of saving FPS for anything really. This texture pack takes number three on the countdown. No. Doku Craft, an OG texture pack that many of you guys may have played with on the old Java edition. The Doku texture pack is a very old texture pack, however it is a very nostalgic and famed texture pack for mainly its medieval look upon things in the Minecraft world. When looking upon mobs or animals within the whole world, you guys can see that they have a nice medieval texture to it, including the mobs within the world. This skeleton right here has some nice leather armor from what it appears, and later on, moving on to the creeper egg that we have here, it is once again a different texture than what we normally are used to. 
Later on, looking through the whole entire inventory, you guys can see that once again, the whole inventory has been redone. All the blocks, all the stairs have more texture to it than basic default vanilla Minecraft. Also, when looking at the armor, you guys can see like number four with the Greek mythology texture pack that the whole armor is well done and well smooth and refined rather than just having the blank colors on. I would highly recommend if you want a different atmosphere to playing Minecraft that you guys give DokuCraft a nice try. And kicking it off at number one, we have the good old faithful texture pack. As you guys can see that right now I'm using Compliance 32 Beta 3. It's just simply something that has a few adjustments to it. However, does not take away from faithful whatsoever. The faithful texture pack pretty much gives a nice smooth and well polished effect to when playing Minecraft. Pretty much, it doesn't really adjust anything. It just makes things a whole lot smoother and a whole lot enjoyable when playing the traditional Bedrock game. As you guys can see from the old blocks, pretty much everything is exactly the same with more sharper refined edges. Even looking at the armor, everything is a lot smoother and a whole lot more enjoyable just adding that mm to Minecraft when playing. Once again, looking at the mobs, the good old animals, and even the creeper at the end, everything is once again still the same, but just well better off Minecraft. This is by far my favorite texture pack when playing PvP, when playing on my own realm, or even playing with friends. I would highly recommend that you guys give Faithful a good old try as as it pretty much enhances your experience in Minecraft, making it not really as blocky, but more smooth when playing. This takes number one on my countdown. Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that like button. It would help me out a lot getting through the algorithm on YouTube. I know this channel isn't exactly a Minecraft channel. However, it's something that I really want to expand on and something that I really want to continue doing. So be sure to subscribe for more awesome Minecraft content. Anyways guys, my name is Dividable Halo HD, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.